Hey there, so today I'm going to be talking about Sapper, and I probably should have talked about Sapper when I was talking about routing, because it's going to do routing for you. Um, it's going to do, I don't know, it's got a bunch of different things that you're going to want to use. So you might be wondering, why should I use Sapper on top of Svel? And the reason is that it gives you a bunch of like boilerplate code, which just means that it's going to give you a bunch of code that is going to give you uh, a lot of things you might want okay so if you're just downloading a svelte project you're just going to get like the raw basic svelte but maybe you want to do testing code splitting uh routing and all these things sapper is going to just give that to you for free so you can come here sapper.svelte.dev and follow these instructions pretty simple um so i'm going to call mine let's see well i can't do that because i already have my app so i'm going to call it sappy and that's gonna clone it into there and then I'll change directory into sappy and npm install. Okay, and then over here, so yeah, it's gonna change directory, npm install, and then you're gonna do npm run dev, just like a Svelte project. Uh, so I'm gonna come here to the docs. Okay, so what is sap, uh, Sapper? <clears throat> I'm not gonna read through this, you can read through it yourself, but here, like I said, it does all these things, client-side hydration, all these whatever, I don't know, fancy words. Um, why the name? Yeah, blah, blah, next.js. So it's similar to next.js for, which uses React. It's kind of the equivalent of that, if you're familiar. Okay, uh, getting started, that's what I'm doing. Um, I'll talk about the app structure in a second, blah, 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 blah. And so you'll see this routing. Um, let me see if it's done installing. Yeah, so I'm gonna code dot to open up my project here in Visual Studio Code. And then we can look at what the SAP project looks like. If this will load, there we go. Um, okay, so you got your source, got client, server, there's a bunch of stuff that it comes with, okay, so it's it's got a lot more than just a normal Svelte project, but you're going to do the same thing, npm run dev to get it going, and it's going to load at localhost 3000 again, okay, so here we go, got a picture of Borat, great success, high five. Um, and here you've got a nav bar with different things here. So this is one nice thing that it comes with. Um, obviously you, you will want to change all of this, but it's a good basis uh, that most websites have. Okay, so the routing, I'm just going to go quick into the routing. Um, you got home about blog, and you'll see here you got about and you got blog, So and you got index, and index is the home. So if we come to um, uh, up here to components, the nav bar, then you'll see that uh, down here it's got href is dot uh, is the home and the dot href is going to be index dot svelte. Then we've got an about which has an href of about and an href of blog which is going to look into this folder here blog and look at the index. So index is going to be whenever the href is just nothing okay so let's say I come here and I say I want to look at um, what's another good thing. Um, cool stuff. Okay, so right now it's got a 404 because that doesn't exist, which is this error dot svelte. But let's say I want to create another, uh, what did I just call it? Yeah, cool stuff dot, dot svelte. Okay, so whatever I put in here, cool stuff, this will be a svelte component, and I save. Save. There we go. And now if I reload this and come to cool stuff. Oh, it's still not there. Did I misspell it or something? Cool stuff dot svelte. Maybe I need to um, put it into uh, the nav bar or something. Or maybe I just need to restart the server. Okay, so I added a new svelte page. Okay, so this is under routes the new route um, and once that loads there we go if I there we go okay so you just when you add a new page I guess you need to restart the server um, so now cool stuff is showing up here when you go to cool stuff and if you wanted you could add that to the nav bar up here in components let me get rid of this uh, you could add the cool stuff and that's how you add the pages and then you'll see here blog so if I come here and click on blog then this is showing up which is the index inside the blog. So if you have something that, um, maybe you have a model, so here it's got posts, these are all the posts, you've got some model representing a post, 
and you want to use the same page over and over again, but just with da different data. So it's got what is Sapper. So it's blog slash what is Sapper. So this is one post. Then you go back. You come here. Why the name? And this is another post. Okay. So in order to do that, you've got this these brackets slug. So slug is the name of the variable they're passing into this page. Okay. And then um, you'll be able to use slug. So here preloads params out slug. Uh, post.title is right there, post.html. So you'll see here in um, posts, they've got a title and a slug. I'm not sure what slug stands for, and then the HTML. And the slug is the why the name there, see, or how to use Sapper or something like that. So this lets you use um, sort of like a template that you can put data into to create a page and a route there. So I know that didn't that probably didn't make complete sense. You'll have to um, dig around that yourself a bit. I just wanted to make you aware of it. And then here they've got a template.html and it's got this uh, different syntax there which will let you insert stuff into this um, template.html. I'm not going to go into that either um, but just so you're aware of everything. And then Cypress here which you can use for um, I'm pretty sure that's for tests. I haven't used Cypress before, but um, I th I'm fairly certain it's used for tests, right? Cypress JS. Let me see. And then, yeah, testing framework. Okay, yeah, I just didn't want to say that if it wasn't a testing. So, yeah, so you got tests there too, which is another thing that Sapper comes with. Um, and I think that's about everything. Here you've got client, you've got a server right here. It uses Polka server, but you can use an Express server. Um, or like a Meteor server, I think you could probably do that. And then it's got a client, um, and this is what, uh, this is kind of like the Svelte main.js that you might have. Okay, uh, that's about everything in here. I will go into more depth in later videos. Um, but you can get started and sort of mess around with it yourself and look through the documents, and that is all.